Hi, good day everyone. I am Professor Victor Ho, an occupational and public health specialist from Department of Social Priority Medicine, Faculty of Medicine, University of Malaya. So today, basically, we know that in the time of COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of our healthcare workers are using both surgical face masks and N95 to protect themselves. We know that surgical face mask does not protect you against aerosol generating procedure. So if you, are, you, if you are doing aerosol generating procedure, you need to wear an N95. But before we actually wear an N95 or select the correct N95, we need to understand how to do it. All right. So today we are going to ex try to explain to you what is the different type of N95 and how do you do a fit test or a fit check. But if you want to understand more the difference between a surgical face mask and an N95, you can actually go to the link that I have provided for you below. Alright, so let's start off with looking at two types of N95. This type of N95 is with a, what we call, easy breather. It allows you to breathe easily through this valve. So there's a valve in front here. This is a one-way valve. The second type of N95 is an N95 without the valve, all right? There's no valve. Basically, the whole surface is the filter. So it filters the air into your lungs. So what is the difference between that two? We are going to explain to you today. But before that, we'll show you how to wear this N95 and explain to you what is important about this N95. Then we'll continue to explain to you what is this N95 Easy Breather. This is, is N95, if you look at it, it's basically N95, it's written here, all right, on the side, and it has a, two bands, all right. Two bands, basically how you, how you put this on is, you put it on, all right, with the two bands in front, holding it as a cup, all right, and then pulling the two bands behind and let it tightly fit into your mouth. Then basically you want to check whether it's fitting or not. Alright? So you want to see whether air actually get out from your N95 face mask or not. So that is where the air is, whether the air escape from here or not. So to make sure the air doesn't escape from your nose, you basically you clip your nose with the metal clip to clip your nose properly. You will see it looks like a fitting N95 respirator. Alright? So to fit check it, we basically either we inhale and exhale and you'll see whether air actually escape from your N95. This is called fit check. Every time you before you use your N95, you should fit check. But before that, you should fit test because we know that not all face answers are the same and everybody should be checked whether the N95 suit their face or not. So this is the N95 that is can be used for sterile surgical procedure. You must understand that this can be used for sterile surgical procedure. There's another type of N95 with a little valve in front. All right, this valve is basically something called a easy breather valve. All right, so it's a one-way valve. So the valve basically allow air to travel this way. All right, it allows air to travel from your mouth and it comes out through a little flap here that actually opens up. All right, if you can see, there's a little flap here that can open up and you can see that you can see my pen coming out. All right, so that's the little flap there. So the little flap opens up every time you exhale or you breathe out. So it is not basically should not be used for a sterile surgical procedure because your contaminant from yourself will basically contaminate the area you're working on. So you should not use this for a sterile surgical procedure. If you want to do a sterile surgical procedure, you should wear an N95 which does not have the easy breather valve. This is an easy breather valve. This is good because it actually prevent the inside of the N95 to become humid and wet and difficult to wear. 
So you need to wear N95 for a very long time and you're not working as in a sterile surgical area, you can use this type of, of N95. But if you're working in a sterile surgical area, it is better to use N95 without a easy breather uh, attached to it. So this N95 have a different design, all right? It doesn't matter what the design is. Basically, it matters is whether that it fits you properly or not. So different people have different face structure, different size of the face. So before you actually select your N95, you must make sure that it actually fits properly. So to wear the N95, the same thing, put your hand in front, like a cup, all right? Then place it over your nose and mouth, then put the band behind so that it's, it is firmly attached to your mouth. So you do the same thing, all right? And you breathe in. And breathe out. You see that when I breathe out, of course, you really can't see it, but when, when, when you put your hand below this, you will see that the air actually comes out from here. That's why this is called an easy breather. It allows you to breathe easily and it doesn't make your mouth, make your, the, make your mask become very warm and humid and difficult. So this is good if you want to use it for a long time, but only in a non-surgical area or non-sterile area. Okay, so this is today I have explained about what is the difference between an N95, all right, without the easy breather, N95 with the easy breather, and also what is the difference between fit testing and fit checking. And every time before you don on your N95, you put on your own 95, you need to make sure you have a fit check done. Thank you.